Hi, in this session we will be discussing how to record a packet trace from the storage controller. This video is based on KBID 1010155. To capture the packet trace, use the pktt command pktt start all dash d slash etc slash crash. Here the start subcommand is used to start tracing. Option all collects information from all interfaces. Dash T specifies the path to an existing directory in which the trace file will be written. The file will always have the name .trc and the command pktt stop all. This causes all tracing to stop on named interface or all interfaces. If any unwritten data is in the trace buffer, it will be flushed to the disk. Here is the listing of some of the options that can be used with pktt command. If you want to specify specific interface, you can use hyphen if instead of all option. We don't recommend this because normally we want to capture on all the interfaces just in case the problem is occurring in different interfaces. Next, hyphen d option to specify the directory name, we can use slash hc slash crash because we can access that through SIFS access from a Windows machine. Iphone m for packet length. This sets the length at which the packets will be truncated. The default is 1500 bytes which results in full packets for Ethernet. Iphone i is the IP address. Again, we would recommend to use all IP addresses. That way, for example, if you are working on a SIFS connection problem, you want all IP addresses, not just a storage controller and the client, but you also want to collect things such as storage controller talking to DC in order to get authentication. IFNS allows you to set a maximum size of the trace file. The default is 1 GB and the maximum value is 32 GB. This parameter is only useful in conjunction with the hyphen D option. After the maximum size has been reached, packets continue to be logged to the buffer but not to the disk. Iphone B option. This sets the buffer size which may be specified as a number with an optional trialing K or M multiplier. The default is 32k. Here is my storage controller. Start the packet trace by executing the customized command pktt as shown. After running the command, it shows the interfaces E0A. That's the start of the packet trace and E0B and also loop pack has started the packet trace and then you see those messages 238 packets seen 0 dropped 64867 bytes written and as long as the packet trace continues to run you continue to see this information come up on your console once we completed all our tests, we would run pktt stop all. This would stop packet traces on all interfaces and that will complete the packet trace. To fetch the trace file from the storage controller, map the drive using the SIFS and then download the file. Note that .trc file are in TCP dump format, so any software capable of manipulating these files, for instance TCP dump, TCP view or Wireshark, can open a file generated with pktt. We hope the video was helpful. Thank you.